Once you have finished filling all the data gaps, you may complete your carbon footprint. However, it is important to document all estimates that were made. The following information should always be included in a carbon footprint report. First, document all source activities and time periods therein that were estimated. Second, state the estimate method used to estimate each. Third, state the source of external data used in estimating. Examples of this are data from another facility or a factor from a standard of best practice. And finally, state the level of uncertainty. For instance, if operations at your facility have not changed from year to year and you are estimating based on historical data from the previous year, your level of uncertainty is likely low. On the other hand, if you are estimating from another facility with slightly different function where that facility itself has consumption data that was based on estimates, your level of uncertainty will be higher. Here are some examples of typical statements of estimates in a carbon footprint report for different source activities. Note that in each case you will find the time periods covered by the estimate, the specific fuel or consumption material, and the method of estimate that was used. Once you've completed this year's carbon footprint report, it's important to look at ways you can improve the data collection process for next year to ensure that fewer data gaps and irregularities occur in your data. Here are some steps you can take. First, start the data collection process early. Consult with your landlord if you are a tenant on ways that you can ensure that you have all the data you will require. Do this before signing the lease, if possible. Second, take note of specific obstacles in obtaining the data that occurred in this year's carbon footprint report. For instance, did you have difficulty contacting a key person from whom you needed to obtain data? Were bills difficult to read? Third, continue to try and obtain missing data on this year's values even after submitting your report. This is important since it can enable you to correct retroactively in future reports, thus ensuring greater accuracy in data for your organization year over year. Finally, if different staff in your organization work on collecting the necessary data, it is important to communicate with them how data is to be collected and assist them with any obstacles they may be facing. For example, it is important to ensure that Facility A is reading data off a natural gas bill in the same manner as Facility B. This will ensure consistency between both facilities. We hope you found this presentation useful and informative. For more information, please contact us at the number or email shown below. You may also participate in our LinkedIn discussion group and follow us on Twitter. Please also visit our website at www.e3solutionsinc.com. Thank you, and have a great day.